There's no warnings out right now in North Texas, but we have had uh, some strong thunderstorms just around the peripheral of the Metroplex. As we start out wide, you can see several areas of concern. Now, up towards Sherman, the warning has been dropped as these thunderstorms are continuing to move off along the Red River. Eventually, well, there's some activity already jumped ahead into Paris, but all that is going to continue to expand out. So it could get into parts of northern Greene County and into Delta County as well as Lamar. But this activity is just to the west of Tarrant County. Scott Padge is going to zoom in a little bit closer. And, you know, you can see a couple of sails here. Not a lot of upper air support. So the stronger thunderstorm there was at the Jack County line split apart. So this whole area is going to continue probably to merge back together. It's not moving very fast. Again, as we've been telling you here throughout the 4 o'clock show, only about 10 miles an hour. It could kind of speed up here over the next hour if it continues to line up. But here are some arrival dates for the various thunderstorm activities. It's going on. Nothing severe, but some brief heavy rain. You see in Garner just a little after 5 o'clock and advance at about 514 or so. So as we get rid of that, and again, look at this uh, kind of cluster of thunderstorms developed. Notice there's some stuff in Erath County. There's some very strong thunderstorms down in Hamilton, and they've been producing 70 mile per hour winds, but that's not part of our forecast. We'll continue to watch this carefully as it moves in for the rest of the evening, a little bit closer to Tarrant County, Hood County, Somerville County, and Johnson County as well. Let's why not this view even more? And you see the cluster of thunderstorms along the Red River north of us. It continued to intensify up in Oklahoma. But we have a lot of activity out to the west. Again, that's where our overnight threat's going to be. This stuff, the evening threat. But this out here, the overnight threat that could last in the morning. Time lapse this morning. Temperature started at 75 degrees. And you can see a little bit of rain here on time lapse. Picked it up at 10 o'clock in the morning. But we spent most of the day under thick cloud cover. It wasn't really to the last couple of hours of the day that we warmed up into the 80s. The low this morning was 75. That's a new record high minimum. Very warm morning. And 88 degrees was the high today. By the way, 75, that's the warmest morning we've had so far this year. There's a lot of humid air in place. And we have the stationary front to our north and dry line to our west and everything kind of combining to get some strong thunderstorms going. So the rest of the day and tonight, we'll run this risk of scattered severe weather, mostly along our western half. We're going to have that dry line produce another line of strong thunderstorms and overnight again we'll watch these thunderstorms make their run for the metroplex we could have some diving down from the northwest as well in the overnight hours and some of this could be around in the morning for a few showers but during the afternoon heating with all the frontal boundaries around and the outflow boundaries we could have again a round of strong thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon that'll keep the temperatures in the upper 80s then it dries out thursday and friday we are into the 90s into to the mid 90s. In fact, some of the hottest weather we've seen so far this year. By Friday and Saturday, the hot weather is around, still around on Sunday. Some scattered thunderstorms possible on Monday.